students, we can see that although the average person in Punjab earns more than the average person in Himachal Pradesh, it lags behind Himachal Pradesh in IMR, literacy rate and net attendance rate. Why do you think it is so? From this, we can understand that money cannot buy all the goods and services that can help individuals to live well. In other words, income is not a completely sufficient indicator of material goods and services which the individuals are able to use. For example, one can have money, but one cannot buy a pollution-free environment, isn't it? For example, is it not cheaper to have collective security for the entire locality than to have a security for each house? In the same way, only if governments open schools and provides other facilities, many children can study. As we see, even today, in many places, children, especially girls, are unable to complete secondary education due to the lack of facilities. Some states may have lesser infant mortality rate. This is because of the provision of sufficient basic health and educational facilities for the people. In addition, the public distribution system PDS operates well in some states. In this, the ration shops function well as a result of which the health and nutritional status of the people is likely to be better. Another important aspect here is that the addition of the term human to development. This has highlighted the fact whatever is happening to the citizens of the country is significant in the development of the country. The elements like people, the health, and the well-being are highly important. <music> Students, as we have seen, some countries are ahead of others in terms of the indicators of human development. In the same way, some states and districts may have better development indicators than others. The ranks and comparison can be meaningful only when we find out the reason on the backwardness of some states. What does the low performance mean? Low performance in the terms of the human development indicators means that those aspects need more attention. Students, here you may ask why some states or countries are ahead of others. Students, as we have seen in the previous section, the net attendance rate of Himachal Pradesh is 90, which is higher than Punjab and Bihar. Let us see how this has been achieved. The schooling revolution in Himachal Pradesh can be seen as an important reason behind the success. Let us learn more about the schooling revolution. Students, what we have to keep in mind is that development is a combination of many factors. Only when so many factors come together can they make the complex phenomena of development possible. When it comes to Himachal Pradesh, its education level were low at the time of independence in India like many other states. The low density of population in many villages, owing to its hilly region, establishment of schools and spreading of education became a challenge. But the government of Himachal Pradesh and the people in the state were eager about education. So how do you think the impossibility of was made into a possibility? The government started schools in the states and it made it a point that the education was mostly free of cost or at least affordable. In addition, it also tried to ensure that these schools had minimum facilities like classrooms, teachers, drinking water, toilets, etc. Gradually, these facilities were improved and expanded. As a result, more schools were opened and teachers were recruited so that education is provided to more children. But the government needed money to run the schools well. The state of Himachal Pradesh has the status of one of the highest spending from the government budget on the education of each child. The average spending on education by Himachal Pradesh in 2005 was rupees 2005 per child, where it was rupees 1049 by other states in India. This prioritization by the government of Himachal Pradesh has achieved amazing results. The intense surveys on schooling done in 1996 and 2006 have highlighted a superior quality of education in the state. In addition, the norm in Himachal Pradesh has come to be at least 10 years of schooling for the children. Students, the education of girls is still a less priority in many parts of our country. 
when compared to the education of boys. In addition, the girls may not complete the schooling even if they have started it. This kind of gender bias is lesser in Himachal Pradesh. Although there are differences in the status of men and women, they are less in Himachal Pradesh compared to other states. The parents are ambitious that their girl children too should excel in their education. This is the reason high percentage of girls in the age group of 13 to 18 are completing their class 8th and processing to secondary education. But students, why do you think the gender bias is less? The gender bias is not only less in education but in other aspects too. The child mortality, which is the children dying within a few months of birth, is lower for girls than for boys in Himachal Pradesh when compared to other states. In addition, the Himachali women are employed. As a result, there is economic independence and self-confidence. They say, in the women in the domestic decision making and children's education, upbringing, etc. is higher. Moreover, with the Himachali women employed themselves, they are keener on their daughter being employed outside home after marriage. Thus, schooling is natural and became a social norm in the state. In addition, the Himachali women are said to be highly involved in the social life as well as village politics, while active Mahila Mandals can also be found in the villages. Let us have a look at the table which shows the progress in Himachal Pradesh in comparison to other states. We can see the development that took place over the years in Himachal Pradesh as well as in other states over a time period. There has been greater development in schooling in Himachal Pradesh than in the whole country. Although there is difference in the average level of education between boys and girls, there has been development for greater quality in the recent years. So students, we can understand that development is a combination of many goals. We have also seen that the goals and the methods in which development is achieved may be in conflict. We can conclude that income and per capita income are only some aspects of development. These are the various ideas of development. So we understand that it is important for every human life that they develop and progress. So development plays a very important role.